The concept of animal genocide is not one that we often think about, yet it is a reality that has shaped the course of history. Did you know that the once abundant American bison which roamed the Great Plains in the millions was nearly hunted to extinction? Not for its meat or fur, but to intentionally starve Native Americans and get them under control? Or that the majestic Great Auk, a flightless bird that once populated the Atlantic Ocean, was relentlessly hunted for its feathers and oil, ultimately leading to its extinction in the mid-19th century. The harrowing tale of animal genocide spans centuries and continents, with countless species suffering at the hands of human activity. From the massive destruction of habitat to illegal hunting and poaching, the impact of human actions on the animal kingdom cannot be ignored. Today, we face the possibility of losing countless species forever. In this video, we will take a closer look at some of the most devastating animal genocides throughout history and the impact they have had on the natural world. The world has seen many forms of genocide throughout its history, not just against humans, but also against animals. Animal genocides have been a part of human history for as long as people have been exploiting the natural world for their own gain. The American bison, also known as the buffalo, was once one of the most numerous mammals on the North American continent, with an estimated population of over 60 million in the early 19th century. These majestic animals roamed the Great Plains in massive herds, playing a crucial role in the ecosystem as primary grazers. However, with the arrival of European settlers, the buffalo faced mass extermination. By the late 1800s, in just a few decades, the population of American bison declined from 60 million to less than 1,000 individuals, and by the turn of the 20th century, the species was on the brink of extinction. These animals weren't killed to be eaten. They weren't killed to supply a huge demand. So there were no slaughterhouses and repopulation efforts for animals like cattle and no trapping or economy for hats and clothing. No, these animals were exterminated in the tens of millions to eradicate their primary predator, the Native American indigenous peoples. Deprived of the primary food source and arguably the keystone species to most Plains Nations tribes, the Native Americans were quickly rounded by and put in concentration camps that still exist today. Of course, today they are called reservations. It was one of the most meticulously planned and intentional evil act by the US government to coerce Native Americans into their control by starving them and becoming more dependent on government support. The destruction of the buffalo herds was a devastating blow to the tribes who relied on the animal for food, clothing, and spiritual purposes. The buffalo were more than just a species. They were an integral part of the Native American way of life, and their extermination was a tragedy that had far-reaching consequences. The American buffalo was a keystone species, playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the prairie ecosystem. The herds of buffalo helped to shape the landscape, providing food and shelter for other species, and maintaining the health of the soil, as we have talked about in the video where how grazing is helping some countries to reverse desertification and turning deserts green. However, the American bison was saved from extinction thanks to the efforts of conservations like Theodore Roosevelt and many others, and the creation of protected areas such as Yellowstone National Park where the species could thrive. Today, the American bison has made a remarkable recovery with an estimated population of over 500,000 individuals. In Additionally, the passenger pigeon, once the most abundant bird in North America, was hunted to extinction in just a few decades. The pigeon was hunted for its meat, which was considered a delicacy and for sport. The pigeon's flocks, which once numbered in the billions, were easy targets for hunters who used a variety of methods, including trapping and shooting, to decimate the populations. By the late 1800s, the passenger pigeon was a rare sight, and the last known individual died in 1914, effectively wiping out the entire species. The scale of the passenger pigeon's extinction is truly mind-boggling. At the height of their population, the flocks of passenger pigeons were estimated to number over 3 billion, making up 25 to 40 percent of the total bird population in North America. The extermination of the passenger pigeon was one of the most rapid and extensive declines of a species in recorded history. For example, a typical hunting party killed over 2 million birds in a single day. The passenger pigeon was a highly social bird, playing a vital role in the dispersal of seeds and the pollination of plants. 
The flocks of pigeons, which could number in the millions, were a breathtaking sight, covering the skies for hours on end. The extermination of the passenger pigeon was a significant loss for the ecosystem as the bird played a crucial role in maintaining the health of the forests and the balance of the food chain. The great auk, a flightless bird native to the North Atlantic, faced a similar fate. The bird was hunted for its meat, eggs, and feathers, and its populations were decimated. The last known breeding colony of great auks was discovered in 1844 and was promptly hunted to extinction. The last known individual was killed in 1852, and the species has been extinct ever since. The great auk, as a predator and scavenger, helped to regulate the populations of other bird species and marine life. The extinction of the great auk had a ripple effect, disrupting the balance of the ecosystem and leading to the decline of other species. The loss of the great auk was a significant blow to the health of the North Atlantic ecosystem and serves as a tragic reminder of the consequences of human actions. The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a carnivorous marsupial native to the island of Tasmania, Australia. The species was hunted to extinction in the 20th century, primarily due to a belief that it posed a threat to livestock. The species was also hunted for its fur, which was considered valuable. The last known Tasmanian tiger died in captivity in 1936, and the species has been extinct ever since. Interestingly, recent studies have shown that the Tasmanian tiger was not responsible for the decline in livestock populations and that the species was most likely a victim of misinformation and hysteria. The Tasmanian government even offered bounties for the animal's capture or death, leading to an intense period of hunting that decimated the population. The real cause of the decline in livestock populations was likely to be diseases such as tuberculosis and rabies which were brought to Tasmania by European settlers. The Tasmanian tiger played an important role in the ecosystem, helping to control the populations of small mammals and birds. The loss of the Tasmanian tiger has had a significant impact on the ecosystem, leading to an increase in the populations of the species it once hunted. The extermination of the American bison, the passenger pigeon, the great auk, and the Tasmanian tiger serves as a reminder of the devastating impact that human actions can have on the natural world. These species played crucial roles in the ecosystems they inhabited, and their extinction has had far-reaching consequences. The loss of these species is a tragedy, not just for the animals themselves, but also for the entire planet. Despite these efforts, many species are still at risk of extinction today. One such species is the elephant, which has been hunted for its ivory tusks for centuries. In the early 20th century, there were an estimated 10 million elephants in Africa. Today, there are only around 415,000. In Asia, the situation is even more dire, with only around 40,000 elephants remaining. The illegal ivory trade remains a significant threat to elephant populations, despite international bans on the trade. In 2018, it was estimated that around 55 elephants were being killed every single day for their ivory, and the trade was worth around $10 billion per year. Another species under threat is the rhinoceros. There are five species of rhino, three of which are critically endangered. Like elephants, rhinos are hunted for their horns, which are used in traditional medicines in Asia, and are also sold on the black market as a status symbol. In the 20th century, rhino populations plummeted, with the western black rhino declared extinct in 2011. Today, there are only around 29,000 rhinos left in the wild, with the majority of those being white rhinos. In 2020 alone, more than 300 rhinos were poached in South Africa. Various primates are also facing threats from habitat destruction and the pet trade. One such example is the orangutan, which is found only in the rainforests of Borneo and Sumatra. The orangutan population has declined by around 80% over the past century, and there are now fewer than 100,000 orangutans left in the wild. The main threat to orangutans is deforestation, as their habitat is destroyed to make way for palm oil plantations. The pet trade is also a significant threat to primates, with baby chimpanzees and other apes being taken from the wild and sold as pets. This trade is often tied to poaching, as adult chimpanzees are killed so that their babies can be taken. Human ingenuity both can be destructive and constructive, and there is still hope. 
For example, California condor is a critically endangered species of bird that is also known for having one of the longest wingspans of any bird in North America, reaching up to 2.9 meters, 9.5 feet. This bird was once on the brink of extinction and only 30 of them left in the wild and captivity. They were all captured and made into controlled reproduction systems and now their number is more than 500. Every region has its own species of animals and birds that have gone extinct. Let me know in the comment section below which animal from your region from where you live has gone extinct. I will begin first. Where I am from, we had a Caspian tiger and it went extinct 70 years ago. Well, thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you with help of these Patreon supporters. If you want to support this channel, head over to Patreon and thanks to everyone who is supporting. Thanks for watching. More interesting videos are coming up. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button.